Hey everybody, my name is Marcus Stone and in this video I will show you what is the best web hosting provider for WordPress. I'm going to present you three web hosting providers. The first one is SiteGround, the second one is A2 Hosting and the third one is Bluehost. If you will find this information useful, I will provide you. There will be links in the description, you can just click on them and if you're gonna buy through the link, you can support me and I'll be really thankful for it. So, let's start. Now, let's talk about the SiteGround, what I like about it and what I don't like about it. SiteGround offers like top-notch customer support, 24 hours support with phone, email and live chat. That's amazing. Not a lot of web hosting providers have that. So if you're gonna have a problem, they can solve it really fast. And that's what I personally like. The second thing is quality servers. We will get to analytics in the end of the video about uh, like comparing some numbers, downtime, how is the loading speed. And this for me is really important. But with quality servers comes higher price. I think that's the one of the top highest on the market. And but you got like really good quality. That's why I choose SiteGround, honestly. Now, the third one, what I like is that you have option to change data centers. What does it mean? Let's say that you want to write uh, some blog for US. Now, you want to target New York, Alabama, I don't know, Texas, right? You can change the data center of your website exactly for the US. And I will show you where. You're gonna see data center here. And you can choose Australia, USA, United Kingdom, Germany, Europe. You can really choose which one you like. This is the one of the things I love about SiteGround. And what I don't like, this is the only one thing, but this is same with Bluehost and others, is that after one year, if you would order for $3.95 and we will get to pricing plans, you will have for 12 months, you will have a normal good price, the special price, but after that, you will have it for $9.95 a month. That's why I recommend always go for two years or 36 months. Of the plan so you have the special price for a really long time and you don't have the regular price and about the plans i would define the plans with a good price comes good quality now for startup version i recommend it if you want to have only one website you want to have one website go with the startup version because you know that you're not going to add another one but if you are thinking about getting more websites i would choose the grow big because you can connect more websites to one web hosting. And I think that's really good. Of course, you're gonna have like free SSL here and unlimited database, 30 days money back guarantee. That's like really cool. So even if you don't like it, you can, they will send you money back. Now, what I wanted to show you last thing is when you're gonna register domain, I recommend choosing domain privacy for 11 euro or $11. So no one will spam your mail. That's just my recommendation. Now, let's go further. We got SiteGround covered and we will, on the end of the video, we will compare the speed of the sites. A2 hosting. Oh my God. So, A2 hosting, cheap price. Really cheap. But with a cheap price comes really bad servers and not that good customer support. If you're gonna have a problem, you won't get answered that fast or not even you will get any answer at all. Plenty of people are saying on YouTube and also on Reddit that they are trying to get help and no one could help them because their site crashed, because the servers were really bad at H2 hosting. And this is my also my opinion. So if even if you look on a site how it looks like, it has that Indian feeling, you know, like it would be main in India. But that's just my, my personal preference. I don't like A2 hosting. If you are really targeted on price and you don't care about the quality of servers and you don't care about the quality of, of I don't know, support, choose A2 hosting. But other way, choose SiteGround or Bluehost. Now let's go further. Then, you can, then we got the last thing and that's Bluehost. Bluehost, average customer support because of the Endurance International Group, we will get to that side, uh, to the company. If you have a problem, you have a problem. What does that mean? Also, the support is nothing comparing to SiteGround. I'll be honest, if I compare it to SiteGround, it's not that good. If you're patient with support, it's a good choice, so, uh, having Bluehost. Now, 
little bit cheaper comparing to side ground, but let me show you. So the they are like showing you the 361 a month. That's for I don't that's like 36 months or 24 months. For $12 a month, uh side ground will be for 12 months, side ground is 30 cents better comparing to Bluehost. But for 24 months or 36 months, Bluehost is cheaper. Few cents, like I don't know, 10 euro. But I think it's not that worth it, in my opinion. And I will explain you why. It will blow your mind what I'm going to show you. Uh, another benefit is that you got much more space comparing to SiteGround. They got unlimited storage. Uh, but servers are worse. And a company is owned by Endurance International Group. Every web hosting company or who got owned, which got owned by Endurance International Group, were not that good anymore. Year after year, this AIG is focusing on profits and they're lowering year by year the quality of servers. So yeah, and another thing is that Bluehost got only UTAC server. SiteGround has four and I'm not shilling anything. This is the just truth. You know, this is just the truth, my personal opinion. So let's go further now. Uh, we got the uptime test. This is downtime test. How many times Bluehost was uh, comparing to SiteGround. And you can see yourself that SiteGround is much better, much, much better comparing to Bluehost. And this is this will blow your mind. So you're going to see like run free speed of SiteGround and Bluehost comparison. And this is where you see the quality. Like when Bluehost has only one data center and they have a lot of traffic, really bad support and the servers are not coming really fast. The speed of SiteGround is so much quicker and you need to always count. OK, if my site is quicker, more visitors will stay on my site because if I would come and I think you, you have it also, if you would come on your site or whatever site and it's loading like five seconds, can you imagine one, two, three, four, five, you would leave. I would leave definitely like it's too slow. And if you're loading another pages, if you have a lot of pages on your WordPress, I don't think this is worth it. I really don't. And I know that people are shilling Bluehost hard and I know it. I damn know it, but it's not that good. It really isn't. And you have data for it. This is not like made out. I would choose for WordPress web hosting side ground. I don't know any other way. If you are too on a price, I understand that you would choose A2 or Bluehost, but Bluehost is not that even worth it, right? It's not that, what is that? 24 euro, 48 euro, you will, you will say 48 euro, but your side will be slower. Wow, congratulations. In 24 months, you would save, yeah, how, how much, how much is it? 645. Let me, let me count it. It's like 645. It's like the, it's 10 cents. So you are going to save like six euro, five euro. It's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. So this is pretty much it. If you have any questions, ask me down below in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you. But this is just my personal preference. I don't recommend going with the Bluehost or A2. I recommend going with the SiteGround. And that's it. So thank you. Have a great day and see ya. Goodbye.